Hello everybody, Grace Still Blaze, and we're back with more raft. No time for BS. So real quick, there are some I think that there's some damage on the raft somewhere that I probably have to tend to. There is a little area over there. I can't remember if that was damage or if that's just a place missing some planks. Could be one or the other. We got a couple of planks just kind of coming in here. I don't even know why I'm trying to hook this stuff when I can just walk over and pick it up. Become lazy with this hook. It's like I don't want to actually walk anywhere. I just want to grab things with it. Go ahead and kind of jump down here. Look at that skill and agility. Put ourselves a little bit of a foundation. We could probably just jump right through here. Now, do you can you sprint while swimming, I wonder? I haven't really messed with it too much. That shark getting a little bit too close for my comfort. What we need to do real fast, though, is we're going to have to get some... Let me see here. We're going to have to get some wood big time because we got to start up some crafty, crafty stuff. We're going to have to put another... Let me see here. We're going to need at least... Two more of the pillars so that we can extend out. I've decided I want to make that area there four times larger than a normal house. That is going to be the Lord Master's house. Whatever, I don't know, whatever you would call him. The Lord of the Raft. I guess that's like the captain. Yeah, that's the captain. That's that's what that would be. Going over here. Uh, yeah, we don't have jack crap when it comes to freaking wood. We don't have any wood at all. Uh, do I have anything inside here? I have a lot of scrap metal. <laughs> Got plenty of freaking scrap metal. That's fine though. Since our inventory is so non abused right now, hold on, coconut, don't you go flying on me. We can start hacking all these trees down. Mother Nature, be proud, or I guess be damned. Either way, I mean, realistically though, it's not that bad, right? Because we're replacing them all. I mean, we're we're self sufficient over here on the water. So I was reading a Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. We gotta, can't let this coconut roll away. I'll feel bad. There we go. I was reading a developer's blog that the uh, developer of this game had up, and it mentioned that they are students. And, you know, they kind of, like, made this game, and then they have to go back to school. And that's important. I'm glad that they're going to school and finishing the education. I would definitely hope that they continue to develop the game, though. And I know that they are looking for suggestions on what they could add to the game, what people most want to see in the game. And that's probably a good idea. If you can't make all of the things that you want to make in the game, at least make the things that people want to see the most, I guess. So, if you go to Twitter, if you have Twitter, and if you don't, you should, there is a at called, I think it's called Raft Game. Um, if you type in, like, Raft Game, you'll find it. I also follow them, so I think if you go to my Twitter, you can find it that way as well. Either way, it's not very difficult. Twitter is not that difficult to navigate around. If I can do it, anyone can. But, uh, oh shit, we're throwing things overboard. While you're there, though, ah, screw you, potato. I don't need no damn potatoes. I got so much food on me, I could care less. While you're there, though, go ahead and make some suggestions. And, you know, kind of like tell them what you'd like to see. Because that's what they're looking for, and I appreciate that from them. I, I like the fact that a developer, and it's always good. That's why I love independent developers so damn much. Because it's the one opportunity that you have to legitimately give people, like, a suggestion on how to fix, well, not fix, but how to improve a game in its current state. So, and I think that that is really awesome. Let's go over here. Let's see now. Go to make these planks. Oh, someone asked, I saw a comment, they said... How do you get the radial up? So this is a real basic thing, but you have to have the hammer prepared. You have to craft the hammer if you haven't yet. That's over in the tab menu here. And then you right click, and then you hold, and you kind of like move the curse around. You can select things. So that's really simplistic, but someone didn't know how to do it, so I thought I'd mention it. Let's go ahead and put this pillar right around there, and then one more pillar right there, and that's going to get us going. Um, Let's see, water. Yeah, I guess I should go grab some water. And look at this. On the way back, we happen to have a freaking shark attacking it. What do you know? What do you know? All right, buddy. Hold on now. Don't get all don't get all buck wild on me here. While we're here, we can also repair this a little bit, and I think I will. As a matter of fact, yeah. See, twenty hit points. But again, look at how look at how many damn planks it takes compared to what it takes to just remake it. But I I don't know. I'm there. I'm gonna use it. I can care less. Over here to the water area. Goodbye. And man, we got a lot of seeds. We got all the seeds right now. All right, that's good enough. Let's go ahead and grab all this drinkable water so we can slurp this down real fast. That sounded, like, oddly dirty. And put it on back on the burners. But yeah, this game... Like, when I think about what this game does for me that other games don't... 
someone put it best. I think it's just, I think it's just the, the environment. The environment of the game is just so different than anything else that's out there. Like, you know, there's a lot of survival games out there, right? So you have survival games in the snow, and you have survival games in the island, and you have a survival game in space, and you got a survival game under the water. But you don't really have a survival game that takes place at sea. Uh, there's like a couple of like piratey kind of survival games out there, but definitely nothing like this. I think just the fact that like, you know, some guys were kind of playing around, and they came up with something that people are this interested in, that's pretty damn cool. Uh, what do we need here? We need a bunch of rope, and we can make a bunch of rope. That is no problem at all. But that's the other thing about, that's the other thing about independent developers, though. They kind of provide, I think, a lot of the, a lot of differences when it comes to, and a lot of, like, new and unusual ideas. They're not afraid to take risks. So instead of making, you know, Street Fighter 20, they're willing to try something new, and I think that that's, that is something that the game world really, really needs. So I'm very glad to consistently see that. Luckily, floors are very, very uh, non-expensive here, so we can go ahead and put plenty of these down all the way back. And they're all facing the same direction, too. How do you like that bull crap? All right, all of our floors are down. We are going to need some of the thatch here because if we don't have any thatch we can't make any walls especially no windowed walls let's go over here and see what we have how's our inventory doing inventory is looking pretty good we've got a lot of coconuts on us so i'm probably going to want to utilize them we can stack that right there in fact anything that we can stack let's go ahead and do this we don't need this one piece of freaking uh metal right there it's just going to get in the way put this over here running out of shark meat big time shark get over here and give me your delicious meat you dick. I'm gonna tell you something, Shark. You, you, I deserve it. You put me through hell and back with your constant shenanigans. And quite frankly, my spear won't take any more of it. I won't take any more of your nandling bullshit. Hold on, here we go. That shark's looking at me wrong. I wonder. I think I've done this before, but I never knew... Oh. Is he coming? Hold on. Let me go ahead and bring him over here real quick. Maybe I can kind of bring him this way. Yes, shark. Right over here, buddy. All right, now that you're here, can I stab you? I wonder how quickly he can turn around. Um, okay, that's cool. So he doesn't, like, teleport around in a circle. Here we go. Ow! Ooh, ow! That hurt. Ooh, but you can stab him. Oh! Oh, this works surprisingly well. Hold on here. Hold on, maybe we can take this shark out of our own volition here. Yep, come on, come on around. There we go. Um, now every once in a while he dives deep. Dives deep under the water and usually pops up somewhere else, like, way out in the middle of nowhere. I don't know if, when he dives, if, like, the game consistently allows him to go in the same direction or if it just allows him to respawn somewhere on the map. Uh, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, let's get back to building here because we do have to get this done. Over here are windows. Uh, our wall windows, I should say. Let's go ahead and start up this. We need, we need a lot of these. But luckily we have quite a bit of wood. Um... So we're going to be able to do this. We're going to be able to put quite a few of these down. I don't think we're going to get completely around, but we're going to get damn close. Uh, all right, baby. Come on. We're almost there. Now we're going to need a couple more. And then in the front here, I'll probably... Let me see here. We're going to have this here for the front door. We can even make some rooms in here. This is going to be pretty cool. I like the fact that this one is just bigger than the rest. It's going to allow me to do a little bit more than normal. I decided I don't like the basements there. I'd rather just build up... If you live in an area with, uh, you know, by me, they're called beach houses. If you live in an area with beach houses, at least this is where I'm at, beach houses are almost always on stilts like this. I mean, they call them stilts. Here, it's just kind of pillars. But uh, they're always on stilts like this so that when the water rises, you know, if there's a freaking hurricane or whatever, you don't get flooded. So to have, a, to have like, a, a basement-style thing doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me. Let's go back in here. Uh, well, I guess real quick we can make some rope because we always do need the rope and that'll get rid of a couple of our There we go of a couple of our Thatches that we don't need again. We just don't need this much metal the metal is only used in one thing I think well, it's used in other things like the cans, but once you make the cans you don't need it anymore Like there's no there's no use for it. So we'll go ahead and toss those out. Man, we got a ton of coconuts I think I'm gonna scarf down some coconuts for food and liquids in a little minute here. Go ahead and grab the rest of this Right through here again. We're getting more freaking. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, good I was gonna say every once in a while I get kind of like caught on the uh, On our nets there 
And I get a little worried, but uh, I think we're just fine. Okay, let's hook one thing real quick, because you can't go too long without hooking something. You'll get, uh, you'll get scavies. Go ahead and bring that in. Boom, there we go. A little raw tomato, which I don't want or need, but whatever. It's more... It's more about hooking stuff than it is about getting something important. Okay, there's the shark over there. I kind of want him over here, but... More windows for now. Go ahead and get these down completely. And then, I think this room... Let me see. How big How big is the entirety of this room? It's actually not bad. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I was. I said I was going to do the coconut thing, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. We're going to we're gonna freaking eat coconuts till our heart's content. You know, I'm going to eat all these coconuts. Screw it. There we go. We got palm seeds for days. Right over here, I think what I'm going to do is build, like, a little bathroom over here. Well, maybe I'll put the bathroom in the back. So, let's go do that real fast. Although, it'll be kind of weird because the one side will it'll have um, walls that kind of have windows. Well, it's, actually, it's not that weird. My, my freaking bathroom has walls that have windows on it. What do I care? So, let's see here. Let's, uh, what do we want? We want that right there. And then another one right there. And then we can go kind of back here like this. This would be a good-sized bathroom. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Right over here, you get, your, you get your toiletries on. This is almost more like a bedroom. Maybe I should make the bathroom even smaller. Maybe the bathroom should be, like, right over here. Hold on, let me take a look at how this would look. Like, right, right here. It's like a little latrine area. Almost like you go in here, and that's where you use the bathroom, and that's it. We can come out here to, like, a little bit of a hallway. Let me see real quick. Let's see how this would look. Put this like that. Ooh, I'm out of wood. Um, I kind of want like a little bit of a hallway going out over here. Kind of just like this over here. I'm going to probably make another one. And then we'll make another room on this side. And then I'm going to do something over here as well. This will be like more great room-ish kind of things. All right, let's go back over here. We can probably take down these trees. They are my decorative trees, but... We also need the planks and the thatch and the coconut, so... And plus, again, everything grows so damn fast that I don't feel bad about taking him down or anything. Oh, no, coconut! Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, anyway, what I was going to say is I don't feel bad about taking them out. It is... Hold on. I hear it. I hear the sounds. Yep, there he is. You dirty bastard. Hold on. Oh, he already got it. All right, whatever. Um, I guess I can put up... Hold on here. Oh, 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 there we go. I was going to say, I could put up the foundation real fast. I don't know where this guy is. Um, hopefully he's not too close, because I'm just swimming here. There we go. I was going to say, I was just going for a little dip. Every time you go for a dip in raft, it's like messing with death. Um, you ne did, Son of a bitch. I missed that coconut. I thought I had grabbed it, but then I looked to the bottom right of my screen and saw I didn't. There we go. We got that one, though. And the two flying down. Let's go ahead and put some seeds right in. Oh, my God. We have so many seeds. I don't need these. Uh, get rid of this here because, again, the metal just isn't doing very much for us. That's a good point, though. There should be something. There should be things in the game where you could do more with the metals. That would be kind of nice. Um, I don't know, man. I'm trying to think about, like, what else to do with the metal. Maybe making, like, a bow and arrow or something like that. Like, the arrow tips. Uh, for arrows and stuff like that, so you can take this guy out from afar. Just something else besides a spear to do some hunting. What would be really neat, too, and I think I, th this would be cool. Like, imagine you're floating through the area, and there's, like, schools of fish, and that's when you have to fish, and, like, different fish kind of, like, I don't know, maybe, like, they do different things for you. Maybe, like, some of them give you more food or give you more health or give you more water, or I don't know, maybe you can use the bones to like make things that would be kind of neat but i think that that would also give a person like interaction with the environment you know what i mean because right now we're doing like a ton of building and th that don't get me wrong the building in this game is where it's at i mean the the building in this game i think is what keeps people coming back to it and the fact that you can use a lot of creativity and just like do things i think that's super important but what i'm saying is is that it gives people opportunity to mess around with the environment a little bit more you know what i mean there is an environment here that we're dealing with and the environment looks very good and i like it so uh, over here, our trees are doing just fine. Let's go back over to the mansion and start putting our start putting our ceilings on it. You know what? And I wondered this as well. Someone had asked, can you can you double up on the pillars? I don't know. I've never really like done it. Uh, so let me check that out real fast. So this would be a pillar right here. I don't think you can. And no, you can't. Okay. So that was just me wondering. And the answer is that's a that's a big fat negatory. No, you can't. Put a pillar right over there. And then, how is this going to be? We can put a pillar here. 
and then there'd be like a, a kind of a weird pillar here but that's i mean realistically this is kind of where the pillar has to go it's not bad i mean like the room is still big enough to the point where it's not a big deal some people ask like why would you have a pillar like in your like in an area in your home or something like that where i'm at my uh the house i'm in actually has some supportive pillars and they they're load bearing so they're not just decorative or anything like that um, and again, I'm, you know, I'm not in like some like giant fancy home or anything like that. It's just the way the home was built where I'm at. So let's go ahead and finish up the flooring here. We should have, oh yeah, we've got plenty of wood to get all this done. And that's going to help us from getting sunburned real bad, which I'm, I imagine we're probably doing right now. Again, that's something that I've never seen in a survival game. All the survival games always have like thirst and hunger. And, uh, you know, maybe they got some animals that try and kill you. I never saw sunburn. Um, I will say that what was it? Long Dark has frostbite, so that's pretty damn appropriate. Of course, you can always, you can also just freaking freeze to death, so is that too. Let's go ahead and eat more of these coconuts because we can. And plus, our water and food is getting kind of low. Uh, screw it, I don't care. Like I said, going a little bit heavy on the coconuts isn't a bad thing. You know what we could do? Let me think about this here. We should get some decorative plants over here real quick. In fact, I want to do that. Let me go ahead and hack down some trees real fast. We got plenty of trees over here, so let's go ahead and bring them downtown to Chinatown. To bring these down, we're going to make some decorative areas. We haven't used our, our potato crops anyhow, and I think we've got potatoes laying around somewhere. I know I've kind of like shunned them and casted most of them away, but I'm pretty sure there's at least a few. I should probably clear out my inventory as well. Some people have said hoard everything, use the damn chests. Um, I find myself not using them that much because in the beginning we just didn't have them and like I wanted them so bad Now that I have them, I'm not using them enough. So I really need to do that Let's go ahead and put a couple of these down here it might as well and then over here again We just all that metal is just sitting there. We can put these seeds in here Because we got plenty of seeds. I'm gonna take these potatoes because we're probably gonna use do I have this in both here? Oh, I do well, that's odd. Let's go ahead and uh, put all of our let's let's consolidate our seeds. I don't, I don't want to put them all all jacked up in different areas. There we go. The seed consolidation is complete now, and I am happy with the result. Actually, one more. We'll put that one in there as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish off getting the rest of these planks here. That should get us just a ton of planks. And again, this is gonna give us plenty of coconuts too. And you can see with the number of of trees that we have now. Food is no longer even the slightest bit of an issue. Uh, neither is water. Just because the coconuts give you something to drink as well. Someone commented, they're like, when I said coconut meat, they're like, coconut meat? Yeah, where I'm at, we call it coconut meat. So, I don't know. Um, the meat of the coconut. Uh, we use it for all kinds of stuff. I'm in a very tropical area. I think a lot of people know where I am. I think if you've followed my Twitter and stuff like that, you probably know. But, uh, well, come to think of it, if you look at my about page and you want to send me mail and stuff like that, I have an address on there. So then you're really going to know. Let's go ahead and make some foundations, though, so that we can make some decorative areas here. Uh, yeah, we're going to make these all the way up. I'll make these right to there. Plus, it's going to help protect uh, this area of our, of our stairs as well. So right over here now, we can make some crop plots, which we haven't done in, like, forever. I don't even know if we've done it recently. There we go. Two crop plots. Go ahead and get these. Put one right about... Where do I want to put these? In fact, how many do I want? I can turn these two like this if I wanted to. Maybe I'll make like four. Now that's just too many. There we go. We'll do it this way. We'll put one right on the right in the corner there, like that. And then we'll put the other one on the other corner. Hold on now. Right about like that, I think. There we go. I think that's right about equal. That's pretty damn equal, man. I'll tell you what. We only got four potatoes right now, do we? All right. Well, let's go ahead and plant all that there. We can get one more potato right there for right now. And if memory serves me correctly, and sometimes it does. Ooh, we need to plant one more of these. If memory serves me correctly, I was going to say, we should have a whole freaking slew of barrels. Let's go grab the barrels first. I'm sure, if anything, that should give us a few. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That should give us a few potatoes. Potatoes? Anywhere? Yeah, we got a couple potatoes. Oh, we have just enough! How do you like that? The raft gods knew! They knew exactly what my plan was. We have just enough potatoes to continue this right here. Now all the potato areas are full. These are going to grow to be n nice, healthy potato plants, and I'm very happy about that. From here, 
It's a little bit of an area back here that we never finished up. So let's go ahead and do that real fast because it looks weird without it. Go back in here. There we go. Okay, good. So now we've got that all done. Let us continue with our, let me see here, regular wall. There we go. Let's go continue with this. And how do I want this? This could be like a great room over here like I've had before. Do I want to do that? Yeah, we'll do that. Um, let me go ahead and put this like here and then that like there. And that should be pretty damn good. There we go, yeah. So we've got, this is like a two bedroom area now. You got your little bedroom here. You got the latrine over here. We could, oh, that'll wall it in. I was going to say, can we give this guy his own bathroom? Two bedroom, one bathroom. Ah, that seems fair. That's a, it looks like a good floor plan. Over here, you've got some things. We could even enclose some of this too. All these are surprisingly equal. I didn't truly plan that. But like we could enclose this over here if we wanted to. And that would be like the kitchen. And then this would be like the living room area. I don't know. Um, the houses in my, in my region have a lot of great rooms. So a lot of times the kitchen and the, and the living room area is like all one big chunk. And you have like an island usually for the kitchen area, but that's pretty much it. I wonder if I can grab this. Wow. One shot, one kill there, baby. I hear someone biting. Where are you at? You son of a bitch. Are you biting my nets? I'll bet you are. You scumbag. Ow. You dirtbag. All right, well, whatever. I guess I'll have to make a net real quick. We haven't made a net in a little while, so it's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and put this one down right there. In fact, you know what? We could continue getting some nets out. There's no reason not to continue increasing our net count. There we go. Put one more net over here, and then at the other... Oh, shit. Oh, God. Hold on. Let me get out of here before I get chain attacked by sharks. There we go. Go over here. Oh, our water is down, but that's fine. We, I'm sure we have plenty of coconuts, as we often do. Coconuts for days, as a matter of fact. Um, yeah, we'll start with these four. Wow, that provides a lot of water. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, overpowered coconuts. Who would have thought that you'd ever be saying that coconuts are grievously overpowered? Now, the other thing I'd like to do is probably... Let's see here. I kind of want a second level. This is why I want, like, corner stairs. Um, in fact, we could make the stairs going here. Hmm. Let me think about this for a second. I might do that. I might put a staircase up here. Let me, hold on. Let me see something real quick. Now, the staircase, the other thing is that the staircase is very, very big. Um, like, it takes a lot of space. See that right there? Um, which I kind of hate. I kind of, that, that really annoys me. But there's not much I can do about it. Like, you can put your staircase, like, even if we put it this way, it's kind of all jacked up. See, like this? Hold on. Well, but if we make it over here, we could make it over here if we wanted to, but it seems to still take up a lot of space. It's not that bad. Like, I don't know. It's not that bad. If we put it here, we would need to remove one, two, three, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we would. Hold on. Let's go ahead and take this down real fast. Move over to yonder axe. Get rid of these real quick and see if we can put down this staircase. I, I think that that's all that we would need to remove. Hold on. Let me double check stairs uh i guess it is so now can we get out no you can't okay you'd have to duck to get out so we're, we are gonna have to remove this one as well so there's our stairs going straight up it still it still doesn't look bad this is still like a good livable space and i definitely want a secondary floor up here so let's start on this as a matter of fact um yeah let's just go straight into it let's start building this out i want to get this done build a wall window right over here is that facing the right way yes it is and then start making this. We're going to need more wood big time. All right, guys, hold on one second. I'm going to start and chopping, and I'll be back when I have all the wood I can handle. All right, I've got quite a bit of wood. We should do fairly well here. In fact, we're going to run out of palm uh, thatch before we run out of wood this time. Very unusual. Normally, the wood is the big commodity here that I require, but uh, things doing okay. There we go. Um, where do I want this? Oh, this can go all the way around, so we don't even have to worry about it. Can I make this here? interesting so i can't put a wall there i hate that i want to be able to put a wall here but we can't hmm how do i feel about that that is i don't like that that's annoying i can put a wall here which ah all right i guess i'll do it um that's fine oh we're gonna need more palms uh let's go down here real quick we should have at least several of the thatch prepared for us down here i've got how's my inventory my inventory is looking pretty good so I don't have to really worry about too much here. Come on now. Give me those palm fronds. Come on, guys. We've got a little bit of metal, which I don't want or need. There we go. Now we're getting that thatch. That thatch. That's what I'm talking about. And that 
should be enough. But then again, we also have to get the ceiling as well. Once we get it, though, it's going to look pretty good. Um, at least as far as I'm concerned. And I am by no means an architectural genius. Let's continue to put this down. Right there. And then the final one there. There we go. So now it's it's kind of interesting because this is outside. Um, which I guess is it's not like a huge deal or anything. I don't know, man. How do I feel about that? I may change the entirety of the house because of this. Um, what I'd like to see is I'd love to just be able to, I'd love to have the wall build on top of another wall. It's kind of annoying that you can't do that. So, I don't know. I just feel weird about that. Let's go ahead and put down some pillars, though, because we're going to need to. We're going to want one there, one there, and then here, and I think we need one here as well. And that should get everything all snugged up uh, over here by the floor area. Yep, right there. Okay, good. That's going to get us all the floors we need. Out of wood again. All right, we'll go grab one more batch of wood. We'll clean up the the ceiling here, and I think that that should pretty much wrap up the mansion for now. Two levels is pretty damn good. Um, I kind of like that it has a little bit of a shape to it, too. Just doing, like, a box straight up would get kind of boring. So I don't know, man. Maybe the fact that the staircase is outside is fine. Again, it's a raft in the middle of nowhere. So I'm not expecting to have all of the niceties that you could possibly enjoy. Just a couple of them. All right, this is it. The last couple of floors going on here. Um, do we have enough wood? I'm not sure that we do. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we're going to run out of wood just barely. We're almost there, though, damn it. Okay, one more round, man. One more round, and we're going to be pretty damn good on the mansion. Hold on. Let me get back down there and get a little bit more. Well, do I? can I even get any more wood? I think I've... I think I've fished, well not fished, I think I've chopped out our little groves here that we have. We're going to have to get a bunch, we have to get a, a bunch more of these palm trees up. Because now that I'm starting to build like big structures like this all at once, it's taking a lot of the palm trees. I also want to get rid of this. In fact, let's do this real quick. Now, getting rid of things doesn't give you, oh shit, there we go. Doesn't give you any of the materials back, I don't think, which I'm really sad about. If it did, well... Hold on, let me see here. Do we have any planks on us? Okay, so we don't have any planks on us at all. And when we take this down, you're going to notice we get no planks. Like, we got no planks the last one. You get no planks there. So, no. This does not get you back any of the materials. I kind of wish it did. Like, maybe half or something like that. I think that's what most things do. Although, it is very easy to obtain materials in this game. So, it's not a huge deal. It's not as big a deal as some games where you, like, you have to get this kind of stuff. But... I don't know. It would just it would just help a little bit, I feel. Okay, now that this is down, we can not put a platform down there because we don't have any wood. So I'll have to take care of that. Our trees are almost grown. Actually, they may be fully grown. Tree growing simulator. Are you still growing upwards? Yes, you are. All right. So we're going to let that go for right now. We've got plenty of food, plenty of buildings. Um, man, I'm kind of wondering, if I keep building here, will I build throughout the entirety of the map? It's going to take a long-ass time, though. I do hope to continue to see some updates so that our base can kind of expand. The only issue is, is typically when they come out with updates, you can't use your old save. Um, man, I hope I could use this save just because we put a little bit of time into it. Anyway, guys, hope you're enjoying this episode of Wrap. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.